Hello, freaks and geeks, and welcome to, well, um, a new series slash kind of redone. Um, this is going to be season one of Rimworld, and, well, I've actually done series of Rimworld before, but I went ahead and deleted all those videos um, just because I personally didn't really like those series. Um, hopefully this series turns out a lot better, you know, The Colony, just because I know a lot more about the game than I did back then. Um, but, uh, um, I believe, uh, this is Alpha 15? Or, four? I, I, I forget exactly what number it is off the top of my head. It will be in the title description for sure. But, um, but yes, I'm gonna go ahead and start a new colony. Um, a couple of things, though, to note is, um, I went ahead and I, I was playing around with some of these mods. They're not really working. Um, but, uh, the two that I'm gonna run is call in this bar and prepare carefully. Um, e EDBs or whatever. Um, links will also be in the description below for, uh, the M EDB f interface mod. Um, by the way, about the, uh, interface it's um it's only the uh the the little bar on the top right now the functionality with like the arrows and um a lot of the other stuff that uh the interface mod um uh adds um the the creator of the mod actually has to redo a lot of uh basically just has to like redo the mod for the most part but thankfully the the task bar or the uh call in the bar was simple enough in its own thing, so he went ahead and released that for the people who wanted it. Now, um, I'm gonna go ahead and go into the new colony. Now, um, I probably will regret it, but, uh, I'm gonna go on, uh, Rough Randy Random. Um, one of the reasons why I'm gonna go with Randy Random is because, I mean, Cass uh, Cassandra is a good, steep or you know is a good you know curve of difficulty but um i want to challenge myself a little bit and there's a really good chance of us dying um let's go ahead and select our world though um i don't even know how to pronounce that <laughs> yes clash clash mods um yes uh <laughs> forgot i <laughs> That that's the seeds uh, name. Yes, I forgot I did that. Um, now I am gonna I'm gonna randomize this a few times. See what we get. Uh, where is that exactly? Uh, fly first of spring to the first of fall. Desert. Oh wow. Um, a desert playthrough. Oh that and that's like right next to uh. Where where was it? It was somewhere around here. Yeah, I believe no. It was marble and slate. It it was a flat around here somewhere. That was just too. Yeah, I believe it was this one. Um, either way, it's pretty much the same. So I guess we're gonna have a, a desert, um, a desert colony this playthrough. Uh, not exactly. Um, and it's on flat, so. Um, and not mountainous or whatnot, so I am going to be out of my element here. Um, I am going to go to advance and bump up the map size just to, just a tad. Um, not really that much, but I do like to have my maps to be a little bit bigger. Um, I would actually run it on nine, uh, nine, uh, 90,000 cells, but uh, uh, I'm recording and uh, it... The game does seem to lag down a little bit late game, I noticed, from a little bit of test recordings I did. But anyways, let's go ahead and uh, select our colonists. Now, I am probably going to have a cut here, um, because I'm going to be... Because uh, uh, one of the only reasons why I actually have uh, the interface mod is because... Um, I mean, I I know it's because, of, to be honest, shit like this. Yeah. Uh, Yorkist Terrier. Now, um, I, I am gonna do this, and I'm gonna make it fair. I am not gonna, you know, I am gonna use points, and I'm, hold on, no extra points. Okay, yeah, I'm not gonna use any extra points. There we go. I, f I forgot that was a thing, but, um, yes, I will be 
right back here in a second. Alright, so, um, we're back here, and, um, I may actually just fast forward that, uh, little part of me, um, randomizing the characters and stuff, and as you actually see it, the points remaining is extra zero, is actually minus, so I'm just gonna not use any points, um, and as you could actually see, you know, through the fast forward, is, well, is, you know, I truly randomized, and, well, you know, these characters are not exactly the best, you know, they're, I, I didn't max, min-max them to where they all had, like, none, uh, there was incapable of none, only one dude was incapable of none, but even then, he's nervous and has a chemical fascination, um, or she does, uh, in fact, all, yeah, all these colonists are female, um, hold on, just because I want some, um, some uh, uh loving going on in the colony i'm gonna make two of these people um uh gay i don't know if that actually is I'm, I'm gonna see if it adds anything to their uh if it actually adds anything uh yeah oh no it just yeah it's the same gender okay i think i went the very long way yeah I did <laughs> there we go so yes let's go ahead I mean it that that doesn't really all I want to do is have some um, uh, some nice love interests going on hopefully these two are not um, are not uh, you know gonna be you know mad at each other or just dislike each other but um another thing that we also are gonna do is uh is also, um, I uh, took away the, the Yorkist Terrier, and I went ahead and got us a Husky. I thought that was on the animals real quick. Um, actually, speaking of, let me go ahead and save that as a preset, just in case things go awry. Um, <clears throat> in fact, hold on. Do we even have a melee person? Yeah, we do. Uh, I would want you to be a, uh have a passion for shooting but uh that's that's all right anyways let's um let's get this underway shall we the three of you awaken in your cryos cry, uh, cryos sleep sarcophagi this to the sounds of sirens and ripping metal you barely get to the escape pods before the ship is turned torn apart Sometime later, you land on this unknown rim world. As pieces of the shredded starship fall around you, you start making plans to survive. Let's get started. I'm actually really excited because there's so many things that um that are added to the game. Uh, and uh, I mean many many of uh, many of the things you may or may not know. Um, you probably um you probably know by now. Um, mo you know, most people that ac is actually playing RimWorld has already figured it out because this alpha has actually been out for about a week or two now at this point. Um, but yes, let's go ahead and get everyone equipped with everything. Um, you, you, my good uh, woman, is going to have the pistol equipped. You, you're going to have the knife. And Dashi, yeah, you're going to have the rifle. Uh... Yeah, sadly, we don't have anyone that's really passionate um, about shooting. Let's go ahead and unforbid most of this. Uh, is that really the only survival? Oh, wow. 
Okay. Uh. Oh, that's silver. Uh, where is ah? Here it is. Uh, is there no more? Oh, there is actually a load of survival survival mills. Um. Yeah, that's really, that's really about it. All right, so where do we want to set up our base? Um, to be honest, I kind of want to set it up like somewhere around here, just because there's a lot of growing area around here. Um, it is towards kind of the edge of the map, though. That's the only one kind of downfall. I may, I may uh, actually build around here and just have my growing areas over here um uh sadly we're not probably going to be using the the new source of uh a, a new the new uh fueling um system um uh, whenever it comes to cooking but uh we're probably going to just rely on electrical po power uh solar panels and wind turbines stuff of that nature uh speaking of power do we have any theoderm uh, we have one theo. I can't even say that right. <laughs> I'm, I'm not even going to try to say it right now. Y usually whenever I like mess up on a word and I try to recorrect myself, I end up just butchering the butchering the uh, word a lot more. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started here with our zones and our whatnot. Um, whoops. Yes, colony spids, I know. Um, okay, stockpile. Um, for now, uh, let's have a stockpile right here. 10 by 10. And then the dumping stockpile. Um, for right now, let's have it 6 by 20 up here. Um, just, yeah, no corpses. No weapons, um, chunks, yeah. All right. Uh, now let's go on work. Now I'm I'm probably gonna edit most this part out to be honest, because it's really just all a little mundane. Or I'm gonna edit it a bit to and only highlight the truly, um, truly important bits. Um, all right, so. Bed rest is actually a really important thing. Um, the only person that's not going to be an immediate um, demand on bed rest is going to be a uh, secret. Um, oh yeah, and by the way, um, and all the names and whatnot that I cho chose, um, Amelia um, is the subscriber Amelia Ka uh, Kyle. And then Dashi is the subscriber Dashi Dash 3. And then Secret is Secret Soda Pin. And I don't know if that's a one there or if I just mark had a mark on the pad. I don't know. But I'm going to say that there's a one on the end of it just for safe. Uh, just to... Because I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, but anyways, yeah. Let's go back on assigning work. Um, wow, you're really good at growing. Uh, I have plant cutting though. Um, let's go ahead and get you all queued up. Um... Oh, we're not having any art in anything of the sort right about now. Um, hauling right now is actually going to be a big priority. Um, cleaning, not so much. Who else is also... You're also our cook. Oh, wow. Um, Amelia. So, let's go ahead and put you on a... Let's go ahead and put you on cooking... Four, five, but you have a passion, so. Uh, warning, put you on a one. Uh, let's not have anyone on hunting right now. Um, wow, actually, you're, you're important for a lot of things. We don't really have that good, that good of a, of a constructor. Let's go ahead and just put everyone on right now 
Because if we have construction, I kind of want it done. Um, actually, you know what? I'm going to free you up on the research and put secret on just to lighten the load a little bit. But yeah, everyone should be um, hauling. Um, just be should be hauling right now. Let's see, hold on. Is there any... I'm gonna chop as m much wood as I can right now. I'm also gonna use, like, one of these areas down here to actually ha grow some trees, because in the desert, you really need some trees. Because wood is scarce. Let's go ahead and actually open this up for a little bit. Now, uh, for our first shelter, I think I'm just going to go ahead and use this Got a door right there. Bam. Uh, furniture, sleeping spot. There we go. Now, I'm going to let them spend this first day just collect... Oh, I forgot to unforbid the wood. I'm going to let them spend, like, the majority of this first day uh, just hauling... Just hauling food and what have you to the stockpile. Have it to be in close reach, at least. Now, hold on. Let me go ahead and uh, see what our home area actually looks like right now. Uh, let's go ahead and put you like this. Although, delete home area. Yeah, delete this as a home area. Also, um, another thing too. Restrictions work. Um, I'm actually gonna let y'all go to sleep an hour earlier, but you have, and you're gonna have two hours of joy towards the end of the day, but you're gonna wake up an hour, hour earlier and work all day. I'm gonna, I'm gonna also, inst I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna probably push this joy up to like three hours, um, once we get kind of settled in, because... In my opinion, to have a good, like, nice joy period at the end of the day, to get your colonists all, uh, you know, happy, you know, keeps them from breaking, I've noticed. I mean, I don't know if it's just, like, me, me not having a lot of, uh, psychic drones and whatnot, because that's actually one of the only, like, events that I actually haven't really had a lot of whenever it comes to, um... Whenever it comes to, uh, you know, random events. But then again, I was always playing on a uh, classic Cassandra. I haven't really played on Randy Random that much. <laughs> <coughs> now, while they're sleeping, I'm going to go ahead and have some, st have some growing areas. I'm gonna have that area. Uh, actually, hold on. Deep zone. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna have that as a potato. Then I'm gonna have this. Um. This is strawberries. Have that as rice. And I need to put this as strawberries. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. I would also like to have a nice um, crop of corn. Um, what is it? The fourth of spring. And I guess I'm gonna 
Eagle does this uh, area around here. Oops. I'm just gonna hand and gonna hand and delete that. Uh. Yes. Let's go ahead and fast forward towards the morning. Dashi's going ahead and plant some corn first, which I kind of, eh, not exactly agree with, but hey, do your own thing. So, what are you two guys actually doing? Just hauling some, uh, far out stuff, okay. Uh, Hana, why are you in a little pain? Do you have a, uh, fight scar? Yeah. Alright, um, joy you deprived, da da da. Alright, so, let's go ahead and put s some, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and just put some steel horseshoes up. Um, I'm guess let's just put them right here for now. Two should be good. And I know this may be a little bit too much at first. Actually, no. That, that's pretty much fine. Uh, what was this going to be? Uh, air root? I would actually, hold on. I would actually rather this to be strawberry and this to be heel root. In my opinion, heel root is actually one of the most important um, crops to actually grow in the beginning because that medicine that you have is going to run down really fast. I don't want to say really fast, but, you know, relatively fast. Boy, you're not going to have that slept outside debuff for very long. Go ahead and just get all that heel root planted. It's not like we need food first or anything. Um, what what type of soil is this actually? Uh, gravel. Ah, uh, yeah, no. Nah. Yeah, all this is actually growing in. Well, okay, this is growing in soil, so at least there's that. But yeah, for the most part, all of this is just growing in, uh, yeah, grow, grow rate 88%. I'm actually gonna, uh, delete zone and delete that for the most part. I'm also gonna ha put a order on chopping some wood. We need to get a lot of uh, a lot of a uh, wood. And what I'm planning on doing is just basically um. Making a little fortress down here. Um, sadly, there's not no ge geothermal uh, geysers anywhere, so uh, power is going to be a, a little bit of a hassle. Uh, one of the one of the first things, though, that I really actually want to. Uh, gets uh have set up though is our freezer so i wonder exactly would be a good place to put this because we're gonna need to have like a little power station and whatnot
I guess it could also sit right here. Actually, like, right here. Because this is not really that much of a growing zone. Have houses kind of actually right here. Have power a little bit over here, yeah. Alright, yeah. So, what we're going to do... Um, this is just going to be the freezer off first part. Uh, ten, ten by seven. Nah. Oh, I don't want to go crazy, but I need a good amount of space. some food um we can always expand it later but it's not exactly that easy compared to digging out um i think i'm just gonna expand it by three whoops That's actually supposed to be a nope, not wooden wall. Steel wall. This is all yeah, okay, good. Now I'm gonna have a steel door, I'm gonna say right here. Let's go ahead and cancel this. I have a wooden wall. And then a wooden door. Let's extend this out just a bit. Like so. Oh. Sorry about that. I. Hold on, let me turn off my phone for a second. Not turn it off, but make sure the. Oh, God. Okay, yeah. Vibrate. There we go. <laughs> Sorry about that. Anyways, um, all right. now that I think about it, let's actually ex expand this. Because I am wanting to put an extra layer through here in the future. Um, furniture... I'm going to have a steel table. How much would be the uh, 95? Yeah. And now I'm going to have a steel Should I use wood? Yeah, I should. I wooden and now zone areas stockpile clear all foods um animal corpse manufactured medicine uh, raw resources, hops. And have this to be preferred. I... We need to... Whoops. Oh, wow. Um... Huh? Amelia's brother... Uh, 
Uh, wow. It, it, Amelia has a really old brother. Oh my god! And <laughs> I just realized something. Um, yeah, both... <laughs> <laughs> the only person, the only person that isn't gay, and, um, and the new person that may be, uh, the new, uh, the new, the only new male colonist, it's Amelia's brother. Oh my god, that is hilarious. Um, go ahead and let's capture, oh, wait a minute, yeah, I forgot, there's no person marked feds. Oh, me, oh, me, um, uh, Hold on. Let's see. I know this is kind of shitty. Um. Hold on. Uh. Who's our uh main constructor? Amelia. Here, go ahead and go deconstruct that real quick. Thank you. Now. Wooden door. Uh, actually, no. Steel door. I mean, we have we have a good amount of steel. Alright, uh, secret, you go ahead and haul that, and you go and capture your brother. Oh, oh, yeah. I forgot! I need to actually lay down a, uh, spot. Set as medical, and then set as prisoner. Now, Amelia, go and capture your brother. Take him prisoner! Now, I know this isn't the most, um, luxurious of digs, you know, or, or of places, you know, just, a um, <laughs> a, t a two by, one, two, three, five. Oh, no, two by four. A two by four room. Oh, my God. Uh, Han, what's your health again? Uh, I think it's actually pretty good. Um, Shadow and Recruit. Um, I should have actually, uh, gave you some, like, proper medicine, but no worries. <clears throat> Who's our, uh, warden again? Oaf? Okay. Whoops. Okay. Fast forward, I was wondering why things wasn't going fast at all. Uh, temperature, cooler. Let's have that to be right here. Eclipse. Great. Actually, that would actually be more sensible in like this. Power. Wind turbine. I'm gonna have these. I have two of these. Oh, let me cancel that real quick. For now, that's going to be good. Yeah, and an eclipse. So, 
Um, let's actually cancel one of these. And even though there is an eclipse right now, um, on, let's see. Uh, well, first of all, I'm gonna need to haul this away. Where's a good place to put this? I'm guessing right here. Um, I'm actually gonna end this episode here. I'm um, seeing at what, uh, how long um of a video this actually gonna probably turn out to be. Um, but um before we actually end this properly, we're gonna uh, first name this colony. Um, and well, I honestly have no idea. So, um. Uh, uh, um, let's see, the desert, um, uh, something in the desert, um, the, uh, the, the, uh, 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 no. Oh, just, oh my god, I really hate this. Uh, something in the desert. Uh, there we go. The, <laughs> the sandy uh, feet people. <laughs> Whoops. No. Yeah. This, oh my goodness. So there we go. The sandy feet people. Um. Yeah. Whatever. Um. But yeah. So as I was saying, I'm gonna end the episode right here. And I forgot we're in an eclipse. I was like wondering what are you doing up in the nighttime, but. Yeah, I forgot there's an eclipse going on. But yes, I'm going to end this video here. If you liked the episode, please give it a like. And if you want to have live updates, please follow me on, on my Twitter. Um, links to the game and, and the mods that I'm using will be down in the description below. Um, check that out if you want to have, basically, for any types of links um, that you can think of that you would want. Um, but yes, I'm going to... Oh, goodness. But yeah, that'll be it. I'll see you guys in the next video. What fun is there in making sense?